Alright, what are we doing? What's we're the purpose testing our props. And what are we trying to do? Where are the props? Find how much force it pulls. And? That's one one thing we're trying to find and out. What victory! else? victory! And making our plane fly. <laughs> well, <laughs> well what, is, what are we looking for? What's the word? E Fe efficient efficiency we want to know if we want to see how efficient or how long it'll last right yeah. so we've yeah, got it looks so thin when you look at it like this but when you look at so it's show like, us what you're looking at here the props so what do we what do we got i got one art on there already those are the only four this is a very old one that i had from my old plane that i flew that you guys saw mm -hmm. and then this one i got this one and the one that's on there are new so this is an 11 by 7 so it's 11 long. And this is... By 7 is the pitch. Remember I talk, talked to you, Dexter, yesterday about the yep. the screw? So this, in one revolution, this should travel 7 inches in, like, free flight. This one is a uh, 11 by... It's 13 by 6. 13 by 6. Oh, yeah, it's millimeter on this side. Okay, it's a 13 by 6... So that means this one will travel six inches for every revolution, and it's 13 inches long. How come this one's not pointed in this one? <clears throat> the wood props are just totally different. Oh. But you can see the difference. It's about an inch, this is two 10 inches by difference. Seven. Yeah, and this is a 10 by 7. This is, not, this is not good for our motor, but I want to try it anyway to find out kind of what it does. I see what happens. Yeah, it's not matched to my motor. So I spec these all out and matched them up the best I could. And these, not this one, but these two and the one that's on there are the ones I came up with. So the one that is on here is actually a uh, uh, 4. 13 by 4. 13 by 4. That's 13, right? 13, 16 by 4. It's the same size as this one. Yeah, 13 by 4. Alright, so let's bring our props. We're going to write down some data. We're going to figure out how much pull, pull, force in pounds, and how much current we're pulling. Okay. okay. Alright, so if we get a pencil and paper, we got to write this stuff down. Okay. No, Dexter noticed my blast shield. If you guys have been watching my channel for any length of time, you will remember my blast shield. There it is. So we're just setting that up just in case something goes horribly, horribly wrong, which I don't think it will. But you never know. So we got full power test on a 13 by 4 prop. We're going to write down the, the amount of thrust in pounds. Okay. And we're going to write down the um, amount of current that the motor is drawing. Those are the two things we want to write down. Okay. Okay, you guys have to stand right here because of powers. Wait, can I have my glasses? Yeah. Where are my glasses? <laughs> safety first. Where's some look big? Yeah. Even though we still have our glasses. Okay, we got our blast shield, but we should be safety first. Riley corrected. Myself here. Good job, Ryan. I need to get my pair of glasses that I can actually <laughs> it's see. It's gonna be an explosion. Be careful now, Daddy. Then you got the glass. Actually, <laughs> I might bounce off and break the blade if it starts. If it. Are you ready? I could feel the wind. After like three seconds, the wind. You ready? <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna kind of ramp it up slow. Okay, write down. Okay. Write down 3.3. Three. Wow, that was a fun. Cut off. Three. It couldn't. It could go. That scared the out of me. Cut it did? Yes, it did. Oh, it's fine. It and then right here, the here's the current. It's about 24. So 24 amps. Sounds like a flame. 24 AP? Oh, uh, just a big A. Try it again. Big A. And this, this is L, 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 L
uh, big L, little B pounds. Okay, it's back to normal. Well, okay. <laughs> Alright, now I want to see what the what the motor, the battery motor current, I mean the battery current is, because I was looking at the motor current. Okay. Which I just kind of curious. Oh my fifteen amps, right? Yeah. So in in reality, the battery current is important as well. Look at you. Okay. <laughs> so so that so this is the battery current. So 15 amps on the battery current. Where's going to 434343 Just put B-A-T-T. B? A-T-T. Bat. I just said. And this one's motor. M O T E R. What? Got it? Yes. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is we're going to like go somewhere in between. <laughs> so <laughs> we, th we think um, we think we can fly the plane with like one and a half to two pounds of force and keep it in the air. We're guessing here, but I'm gonna I'm gonna bring this up to the number of pounds that we think we can keep the plane in the air, which means we don't have to have full throttle all the time, right? So I want to know what those numbers are. So we're gonna try to do like a couple different spots. So what was our max? 3.3. So we should just do like one pound, one pound, two pound, and like three pound. Okay. Okay, so we're at 15 amps of motor. And we're at about 7 amps of battery. And then our pounds was 2.2. 2. So, 2.2. 2. No. Oh, no. Now we're going to switch the prop and put the next one on there. Which is that one? Motor was 14. I think I'm gonna... This is good? Yeah. Alright, so, so now we're gonna do another one. We'll try to keep these small enough to do. The next one here, just feel like a squiggly line so we know it's the new one. There you go. And we're gonna do, we're gonna go try this wooden one. It's a plastic. You ready? Go! Full power. 1.6. Full power? Yeah, because it's too small of a prop. <laughs> Smaller it is, weaker it is. Whoa! Oh, yeah. yep. The bigger it is, then 1. more slower pounds. it might go. No, more faster, dude. Okay. There's your, oh, there's yeah. your data. Bad. It's 2 o'clock. It's not 2 o'clock, dude. <laughs> How do you even see this 2 o'clock? It's time to go to the clock. It's ready, ready, ready? You got these written down correctly. I'm trusting you got them written down correctly? Yes. Alright, let's try it. If we're at one, what do we get? <laughs> Only it just tooted. It was the plane. You mean the prop? Actually, mean I'm going to go with 1.1. These are like... <laughs> close to the same. So like like 1.1. Pretty exciting stuff, right, Ram? I know, it's scary. It's scary, but it's... Exciting? Very exciting, but pretty... <laughs> so, if you, just, if you just listen, you hear how this one sounds like it's not chopping the wind so hard? It has a much lower tone. That one was like... Boom! You could, like, feel it, but listen. It sounds better, doesn't it? It sounds like it's chopping the air without causing too much problem, which means... 
it's probably less draw and less power and everything, so. And it still produces a really decent amount of thrust. Um, and again, we're limited on, uh, sorry, we're actually limited on our output because I don't have the motor running at maximum. It could run at about. Okay. Me and Riley are discussing. Hi, Riley. Hello. Me and Riley are discussing how long our plane could fly. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take some of these numbers, um, and we're gonna figure out what uh, we're gonna figure out what the average thing is here. So we just calculated our wattage. We took 15 amps and multiplied it by 22.2 volts and we came out with 375 watts. So that's how much our battery is is pulling, 375 watts. Um, now the battery itself is pulling 15 amps and our our, our, our motor is pulling 15 amps out of the battery. Now this is a 1200 milliamp hour, milli, if you move the decimal place over 3 it's 12. 12 amps Okay, 12 amp hour. So if we pull one, I think I did the math wrong there, that's why. So if we pull one amp, okay, if we pull one amp out of the battery, the battery will last 12 hours. That's what that rating means. Whoa. That's what the amp hour rating means, okay? So this this battery specifically is written on here, right? There's supposed to, if you put a point right here, then that's twelve amp hour. You can take away the milli and just got amp hour. Okay. So if we do that, we can take one amp out of this battery for twelve hours. We have fifteen amps. Right? Mm -hmm. So we need to we need to put Right here we need to put 15, because we're pulling 15 amps, so 0.8. So 8 seconds? No, that's in, that's in hours, 0.8 hours. So we would be able to do it 8 hours? No, 0.8. You mean 8 minutes? Uh, this is fractions of an hour, so it's 0.8 of an hour. So if, if 1 was 1 hour, this is 0.8. So if it was 10, right, we can move the decimal place over. If it was 10, the number 10, right, mm -hmm. and we could we could go for 8 of that 10. If 10 was an hour, 60 is an hour, right? Yeah. So 60 minutes is an hour. Okay, this is one, this is 0.8 of 60. Basically, if 0.5 is a half an hour, right, 1, Okay, one is an hour, 60 minutes, right? Mm -hmm. We can go 0 0.8, so so we're about um, 60, 30, <clears throat> 45 minutes. Somewhere around 45 minutes of flight time. So to be safe, let's just say a half an hour, because that that's a full power right if we only need to pull 1.1 pounds of force to keep our plane in the air this drops all the way down to three and that's probably a low number <clears throat> right <laughs> but if we do the math remember what we did we took 12 and we divided by how many amps so if we do three look at that that's how many hours you could fly if that was the, if that was the case so what I'm saying is is that we're not out there going crazy and we just stick into this like lower range let's say we get down to 1.1 then we might be able to fly for an hour hour and a half to two hours depending on the wind and the wind speed and the air and like all the parameters, but if we want to fly autonomously and we're just putting around, right, we're just kind of cruising around, then that's it. But here's the difference. 
this is a different airspeed than this. This we're flying really fast. This we're just flying a little bit slower. So the same distance might be traveled. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because you're using different power. So this is a longer, slower flight. This is a faster, shorter flight, same distance. That might work out that way. Because remember, the prop is airspeed, right? It's a, it's a screw through the air. So it travels four inches per revolution. But if it's running slower RPM, it means it will travel, travel less distance because it's going slower. Makes sense? It's almost like, uh, I don't know, riding your bike. The faster you pedal, the faster you go, but the more energy you waste. The slower you puddle, pedal, the slower the energy releases and the longer of a ride. But you only get to the same distance, right? So you could ride all the way down the street and be totally worn out at maximum pedaling. Right? You get worn out. Mm -hmm. But if you just pedal really slow, you get to the same destination, right? Mm -hmm, but you're not super tired. Yeah, which means you could go further. So, <clears throat> same thinking. Same thing on this battery. Pretty cool, right? All right. <clears throat> well, we didn't do that right, but whatever. <laughs> so look, what's next? You have to convert this. Yeah, we, we will put that into a spreadsheet, but what's next? We hook up our blade to the plane? I think so. I think we can get that stuff mounted and figured out. And then we got to go back and finish our... We got to go back and finish our mission planner stuff here. So, this is what we got to finish. We'll do that at lunch. Maybe at lunch. So we'll do that at lunch. I don't know. <laughs> then I got we got to go over there and figure out how to connect all that good stuff up and mount it in the plane and GPS and we got we got a lot of work ahead of us. But like yeah, we tested our props, man. It's running. It's, it's working. Fun. That's exciting. It's exciting. All right. Yes. All right. Peace out. Peace.